Okay, so um, I just want to clarify. So those videos nga akong gi-upload or akong gi-share sa inyo, those are not mandatory. Okay, so you can still take the quiz. So ang importante lang ato nga makatake mo sa quiz or sa tanan assessment. But um, kung gusto ninyo nga basa lang and then take the quiz or take the exam, walay problema as long as you will uh, you will still pass the quizzes and our exams. Those videos are meant to help you so that you would understand more sa katong mga topics. But it's your option. Okay? So it's in your discretion kung inyo to siyang tanawan or dili. Okay? So... Right, so let us begin now. So I only have few slides this afternoon. So we can have more time for our for your questions. Okay, so the financial environment. So the financial environment is composed of the financial markets and institutions. So, so our uh, discussion would only focus on these two types of businesses or two types of financial entities. So, okay, so let's begin with financial markets. So a market what is a market? So a market is a venue where goods and services are exchanged. So just like in a normal market that we know, so mapa grocery ba na, mapa wet market. So this is the venue where you can find the different goods and services. Okay, so it is the common place or the meeting place where the sellers can can look faster for the goods and services that they want. And for the sellers, this is the venue where they can sell to a lot of people their goods and services. So, ma facilitate ang economic transaction if there are markets. So, so what is a financial market? So, it is a place where individuals and organizations wanting to borrow funds are brought together with those having a surplus of funds. So the financial market facilitates the transfer or the movement of cash from one person to another. So of course we need cash so that our economy will move but uh the speed of the the cash flow will depend upon how robust or how how active are our financial markets. So it is a financial market or it is a market for different financial goods. So those who want to borrow funds, so we call them the users of those funds or the borrowers of those funds. So katong magloan, okay, so katong manginahanglan og money or capital for their businesses, so they usually go to this place. Okay, so so mga financial markets. And then those who have surplus of funds or sobrang uh, cash. So we know in accounting that for a, uh, for, for a thing or for a good to become an asset, it must generate revenue. Otherwise, it will be categorized as idle asset. So in business, we have to look for ways or find ways how to increase the returns. So kung magpundora na siya sa business, so kung naara na sa imong drawer ang imong kwarta sa business, maski sobra-sobra pa na. Okay, so it becomes an idle asset. So okay man siya nga manakay money nga ikip for emergency and for the operations. But hoarding a lot of money in your drawer tapos wala siya nag-grow, wala siya nagtubo. Okay? It's not earning interest or it's not earning additional revenue for the business, then sayang or the asset becomes an idle asset or wala na puslan niya asset. So since it so for the cash to become an asset, 
it must be invested or put somewhere else that will earn revenue or interest so so financial market will facilitate in the giving of money for those who will borrow and then it is also a venue for those who have surplus of funds that they want that their cash to bring in more revenue okay, so aside from the financial markets we also have uh, financial institutions so financial institutions operate uh, just like a financial market okay so especially in the philippines where a lot of financial instruments can already be bought in the in those financial institution so some examples sa mga financial institution so the most common or the most popular example of a financial institution are banks so people usually put their money or put their savings in the bank and those who want to borrow money or those who want to um, buy other financial products like insurance you can also buy investments there okay so our banks are actually big uh, evolving so it almost um, operate both alike both like a financial institution and a financial market so what are the different types of financial markets so you have uh, physical assets versus financial assets so actually this refers a uh, physical assets refers to mga koan um mga financial instruments that are related to the pricing of different commodities so for example they are betting or hedging on the price of the oil or the minerals like mga gold or other um, other metals precious metals so financial assets you do not see any tangible or kanang makita ni mo nga asset so those assets are represented by a stock certificate or evidence by a document so for example if you want to buy shares you could not see the shares okay din mo makita ang shares but it is evidenced by a stock certificate so dito naka evidence kung pila imong gipalit okay so mo na siya okay so another is um when you buy bonds so similar gyapon okay so we call them financial assets then next uh definition or next classification of financial markets is the money versus the capital markets so kaning duha this actually belongs to financial assets okay financial assets ning duha however they differ in maturity okay so kung kanus ani mo siya convert again into cash okay so when can you sell for money markets so you can sell it or you the maturity the maturity date of money markets is maximum niya is one year okay so maximum one year or less if the maturity date is one year or less it belongs to the money market so what are the examples of money market okay so you have your you have your uh, treasury bills you have your time deposits okay so you have negotiable certificates of deposit you have commercial papers okay so these are examples of money markets well the capital markets their maturity date okay so for a while okay while the capital markets uh, the maturity date is more than a year so kung more than one year nagani ang iyang maturity date or the time nga pwede ni mo siya i, i convert again into cash or or sell it or liquidate those investments 
So, mabilong na siya sa capital markets. So, example, you have bonds. Bonds that mature uh, in five years. Or perhaps your stocks. Okay, so your stocks nga plano ni mo siya i-baligya after 10 years. So, those are examples of finance, uh, capital markets. The next classification, classification is the primary versus the secondary markets. So, when you talk about a primary market, so the issuance of shares, so ang shares gikan pagyud mismo sa company or sa corporation. So, normally companies mo announce na sila kung mag issue na po sila og shares or they will announce if first time pa lang nila, they will announce that they are offering shares to the public. So, basta first time pa ganit na yung publicly listed. So, meaning, these corporations are mostly composed of shareholders nga sila-sila lang at sila-sila lang ang tag-iya. Okay? So, close families. So, when you go into public, you're actually opening up your corporation or your company to the general public. So anyone can become shareholder and anyone can become an owner of your company. So for first time companies that will undergo sa issuance, first time issuance, we call that procedure the initial public offering or the IPO. Okay, so Next, you have the secondary markets. So, can we turn off the mic, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, so for secondary markets, so, kung kita na po tayo ukay-ukay, ang financial markets na po ukay-ukay. So, we are selling mga second-hand niya shares. So, for example, if you want to buy shares now, for example, sa Jollibee or San Miguel, you are not buying it directly kay San Miguel, kay human naman sila nag-issue og shares. You will buy those shares sa, sa katong na anay tag-iya. So from other investors who are in possession of those shares. So secondary market na siya nga. Only secondary market. So so usually, mga secondary market, it happens in a stock exchange. So, sa ato ah, in the Philippines, we have the Philippine Stock Exchange. So, it is the one facilitating the, the buying and selling of shares. Okay, so, spot versus futures, public versus private. So, I will not discuss this now because it will be tackled in the koan. In your high, in your other financial management, nga tapi. Okay, but these two, the spot versus futures, is like kana more siya of derivative. Okay, so derivative instruments. So you're hedging the price of this good. So mura mo og nag, nag, in essence, mura mo og nag taya. If mo taas ba ni nga price or dili. So public versus private. So, public offering or private offering. So, we say public offering, you are issuing the shares to the public. Private offering is selected people lang imong gibaligyaan sa shares. Okay. So, how is capital transferred between the savers and borrowers? So you can transfer the capital or your money through direct transfer. So in some direct transfer. So ikaw gid mismo mangita o kinsay gusto mang hulam. So if you are the saver, you will look for persons nga gusto mang hulam so that you can uh, you can lend money. Of course that is for koan. Dili na siya for free. You will ask for a compensation. 
So, ang kada nga compensation, we call that interest. Okay? Or rate of return. So, pwede manghulam. Pwede po sa mga um, tanginalag capital for their business. So, you can actually give money to those who are um, who needs capital, pero instead niya interest ang bayad, you will be part or you will share in the profits of that business. So in that sense, you are not a lender but an investor. So if you already take part in the distribution of income of the business. So if direct mo, saver to borrower, with no, with no intermediary or walay middleman or with a, walay entity nga mo, mo bridge between the saver and borrower, we call that direct transfer. Then second are our investment banking house. So ang corporations, ang mga corporations na to, if they want to sell shares, they will not sell it by themselves. Okay, so dilit na sila ang mo facilitate sa mangita og ba, mangita buyer, mangita investors. They will delegate this uh, this transaction to the different investment banking house. So, mga investment banking house, sila ang mangitag investor para sa company. Sila ang mo try to sell the shares. Of course, investment banking houses will ask for a fee sa, il sa ilang game nga service. So, sa may, what is the example of an investment banking house? Okay, so ang uh, pinaka-famous there is sa Philippines is the um, the JP Morgan. So I don't know if you uh, have already heard the JP Morgan. So I think they are located in Cebu. I, I saw one in Cebu and Manila. So I don't know in other cities kung naabay JP Morgan. Financial intermediaries. So sila ang bridge or mupagitna between the saver and borrower. So what are the example? Okay, so you have the insurance companies, mutual fund companies, um, retirement or pension pension fund companies. So for example, kana mga uh, SSS, pag-ibig, even PhilHealth. Okay, so na bilong na siya diri sa financial intermediary nga category. So Okay, so those are examples of financial intermediaries. So, so money, additional nga mga examples. So you have the commercial banks, mga savings and loan associations. You have the mutual savings banks, credit unions, pension funds, uh, life insurance companies, and mutual funds. So in addition sa ani sa Philippines we have even government ng mga nga companies or insurance companies like Pagibig. So they also have um, investments. So ang tawag ato is called uh, tawag ato is MP2 investment. SSS they, they also have investments. So aside from being a retirement fund a pension fund, they also have investment. So, cooperatives na bilong po siya ni Dering ah, categories. Okay, next, we have the physical location stock exchanges versus the electronic dealer-based markets. So, in US, in USA, so there are two types of stock exchanges. So, we have the physical location stock exchanges. So, kana inyo nakita dira sa picture, sa right? So, that's the New York Stock Exchange. So, physical location meaning you really need to go there to buy and sell. So, ang mga tao nga nasa sulo dira are not really the buyers and sellers but the brokers. Okay, mga stock brokers na sila. 
So you cannot just go directly to stock exchange tapos mupalit or mag-order kag stocks. The stock broker will do that for you. So if you are buying these shares at this price, then another stock broker will also input those clients nga gusto po mo baligya anak nga share. Okay, so that's the physical location. While the electronic dealer-based markets, so it's all computerized. Okay, so there's no physical anadya. In fact, maragamay na langit kayo ang tao dira sa anak nga mga market. Because it's already computerized. So no need to physically go to the stock exchange. So example of an electronic dealer-based market is the Nasdaq. So actually, taas kayo na siya nga kuan. Um, so Nasdaq is the an electronic dealer-based markets. So mostly ang magpalistak ang magpalista kay Nasdaq are mga technology nga mga companies. So nadira si Apple, nadira si Google, even Facebook nadira. Okay, so Amazon. So they are listed in the Nasdaq. Okay, so However, uh, as time goes by, so si New York Stock Exchange are also trying to compete with Nasdaq. So but in the future, uh, these two exchanges become electronic dealer-based markets. So there is no more need for a stockbroker nga mo to dito. So in the Philippines, we have two stock we have two stock exchanges before. So do ha kabok atong stock exchanges. So we have the Makati Stock Exchange and the Manila Stock Exchange. So do ha na sila kabok sa una. But in 1993, so they merged. So and now we have the Philippine Stock Exchange. So isa na lang kabuok stock exchange sa Philippines. So the cost of money. So of course if you want to save or you, if you want to invest your money or to lend your money, you need to compensate. Okay, so gusto ka og makon compensate imong pag pahulam because actually every time nga magpautang ka you're actually incurring a cost okay so in management accounting we call that cost or in economics we call that opportunity cost okay so instead nya mag enjoy ka ana imong kwarta karon you choose to lend your money so on your part you have what we call the opportunity cost Second cost is if dili ka mag ano, interest, di ka mag charge og interest. Remember that every year we are experiencing inflation. So constant na siya. So when when there is inflation, the value of your money now becomes less in the future. So to compensate for that devaluation of money, that's why we are charging interest rate. Okay, so, so that is our hedge against inflation. So the price or cost of equity capital is called required return. So kung magpautang ka, ang money nga nibalik sa imo or ang imong money nga gibayad is called interest. However, if you invest in a equity capital like nagpalit kag shares, the rate that, uh, ang tawag anang a rate is called return or rate of return or required return so when i difference so we talk about debt interest ang tawag if equity that's rate of return so the required return investors expect is composed of compensation in the form of dividends and capital gains so instead you will receive the uh, interest those investors are actually expecting dividends and capital gains. So, say pasabot sa capital gains. So, if you buy shares today at 10 pesos, 
Tapos, after one year, na mo siyang 100 pesos. So, you have a capital gain of 90 pesos. Okay, 100 sa iyang fair value karon on next year, minus 10 pesos ay mong gibayad. So, you have a capital gain of 90 pesos per share. So, multiply dayon na sa number of shares nga imong gipalit. Okay, so what are the four factors affecting the cost of money? So, unsay reason nga nung mo, mubaba ang atong value sa atong kwarta or mataas ang value sa atong kwarta. So first, you have production opportunities. So, especially during the time of Christmas, diba, we are experiencing inana nga uh, problem. So if more production or more demand for the products, the more there is a need for, uh, for the production of money. So if more money are circulating in the economy, so the value of our money. Um, that's why we are experiencing inflation during the time when there's a lot of money in the circulation. Second is the time preferences for consumption. So, mo na kung giingon niya ina, nga instead nga imo siyang benefit ka karun, anak nga kwarta, imo siyang gi forgo. Okay? So, para ma-compensate ka sa imong sacrifice, for not consuming it now. So that is why you will charge interest okay, or ask for a rate of return. The third uh, reason is the risk. So every time nga mag lend ka o kwarta, na ay risk on, on your part nga basig dili na na siya mauli. Okay, so or mawala. So wa nagani ka kakonsum, nawala pag yun. Okay, so that's risk. So all risk must be rewarded. In finance, if you have a maxim nga, the higher the risk, the higher the reward, the lower the risk, the lower the rewards. And then lastly, the expected inflation. So our BSP is actually targeting targeting 2.2 tar to 4% nga inflation. So that's why kung mag-invest ka, you have to look for investments that's higher than the inflation rate or the average inflation rate for you to be compensated for the for your man, for the cost of your money. Okay, so that ends my presentation. So I'm now ready for any questions that you have, you may have. Any clarifications? Okay, so you can chat your questions or you can use your mic. Okay, and then so far, is the presentation clear? Is it too fast or too slow? Okay, so let me know. Okay. Okay, so asa may wala ninyo na sabtan. Okay, so th thank you. So, sakto lang daw. Okay ra, so. Okay, so I want to test your, what you have learned so far. So, can you tell me what have you understand? What are uh, financial institutions and markets? So after the discussion, what what impression 
Okay, on sa inyong na learn about financial institution and financial market. Or ano na lang, uh, just give me an example sa Philippines nga nabilong sa financial institutions and financial markets. So, example lang. That are found in the Philippines. So, any company. Okay, so Marco said BDO, yes. Okay, so BDO is an example of a universal bank. So, mga universal banks, they are not only selling mga savings and deposit. They also sell mga insurance and investments. Okay, so that's correct. BDO. About others. Okay, kana lang, video lang. Okay, you have Sun Life. Yes. Okay, so sa Sun Life they are they have two products. So they are selling they are selling insurance at the same time they are selling also mutual funds. St. Peter, yes. Okay, they are part of our of the financial intermediaries okay so we um, st peter they are selling burial insurance first consolidated bank yes so part just a commercial bank ang first consolidated Okay, what else? Turku, sir. Uh, lending. Okay, so actually that's a, a financial transaction. However, they are not registered. Okay, mura na siyang personal. So, dili siya ka sa mga Turku. Although it's a lending, but actually they are not, uh, they are not koan. Registered nga mga financial market. Okay. Pati ng paluwagan. So, dili po na siya registered. Although, we use paluwagan for same concept with the financial market. So, security bank. Yes. You have DBP. Correct. BPI Capital. Yes. Makonsider ang BPI Capital Corporation. So Banknet, so ang Banknet is ko ana siya. It's still a company pero sila ang in charge sa kuan sa sa tawag ani, sa mga ATMs. So system. So kumbaga a unified database. Forex, foreign exchange, yes. Okay, so unfortunately wala kayo tay ko under eh. uh, the Forex here in the Philippines is or wala kay wala pa siya na regulate sa ato ang sec. Okay, pero sa gawas uh, nanay forex. So forex is actually kanang you are betting on the two correct two currencies. So for example, Philippines US or US Australia. So kumu taas ginan siya, kumu baba. Okay, so scam ba daw ng forex? So kana inyong nibaw-an siguro nga forex nga na dito sa fit na diri sa Philippines muna siya scam kanang mo guaranteed bitaw nga mo ni inyong return So it's not a real forex Okay so real forex just like in the stock market there's a, a there's a risk there's a risk nga mo baba ang price or the in, the returns are not guaranteed So there's no such thing as guaranteed investment Diba? 
So, muna inyo ang Team Ailhan. Pag muingon na gani, guaranteed. So, daga na mo. Okay? So, last year, there are a lot of inanag ang mga transactions. Okay man na siya, wala may problema, Ana. Unfortunately, wala sila nagpa-register as that kind of entity. Okay? So, dapat kung one na plano ni mo, muna yung gusto, magtarong og parehistro sa SEC because financial institutions and financial markets have different requirements. Okay? Gituyo po na for the safety of the public. Okay? So, so actually, next meeting is a very interesting topic. So, I'm going to discuss the different money markets and capital markets in the Philippines and how it works. Okay? So, so that you would know which of the following or what are the characteristics of an investment. So, so to, koan, to protect yourselves from koan, different nga mga scams. Alright. No, pag too good to be true, walay risk, daga na. Okay? Walay investment nga walay risk. Okay. Example of our investment, kanin yung pag -skwila. It's actually an investment, pero there is a risk. Gaya po na siya. Okay. So, a lot of people, ang purpose nila nga mag is of course to have a brighter future. But remember, there are people nga wala nag pero mas dato pa. Okay. So, it's not a guaranteed. Okay. Right, so what else? How about the real estate? Our uh, real estate is still an investment. Pero nabilong siya dito sa katong ginatawag na to, physical asset. Okay, what else? Do you have uh, other questions? Okay, so... Okay, there's a question kung ang quiz ba daw exam is running time ba? Uh, yes. Okay, so actually if you can notice, your exams are... Ang deadline niya is taman until December. December, I think December 24. So, gituyo na ako na siya so that you can have more time to koan, to prioritize other activities nga mas importante or you can use your time, available time later pa, para makatik sa quiz. Exams are, um, ako, ako, I'm still thinking sa exams kung ako ba siyang i-running time. PCSO, yes. Papilya po na siya sa uh, financial intermediary. Although, ang nature lang sa PS PCSO, Unlike in the normal nga mga financial instruments, you can actually calculate the risk sa mga financial assets. So, makalculate ni mo ang risk. However, in the PCSO, kanang mag-loto ka, you cannot actually kuan. Kanang the percentage nga mudaog ka is very, very, very low. Sir, uh, okay, so qu question from Thomas. Sir, unsa ganin ng about time preferences for consumption? So, time preferences. So, for example, you have 1,000 today. So, di ba, kung mukhang yung tag-1,000, dagana ka gusto ma, dagana ka mapalit ana. Pila na naka milk tea, pila na naka kuan. Okay? Pila na naka yellow paper. Okay? Pad sa paper. Okay, so, pila na po nakalo, pila na naka days ni mo nga, load. 
Okay, so you have the option to spend your 1,000 today or perhaps you wait a little longer basin later, mas muda ko na ang value sa imong 1,000. So, when you put your 1,000 to an investment, you're actually sacrificing your uh, your sa tawag gani, your opportunity to consume the money or to convert it into products nga makasatisfy sa imong needs and wants. But, you choose to uh, delay your satisfaction so kung naka sa kung mag invest ka there is a concept of delayed gratification so instead of spending your money now so you choose to spend it later with the hope that you will buy more products so for example sa imong 1000 you are hoping by next year nga may mo siyang 2000 or 1500 so kung mo gasto kag 1000 karon you will buy, let's say, mga napulo ka milk tea. Pero in the future, by next year, your 1,000 becomes 2,000. For example lang, so you can buy 20 milk tea. Okay, so, there's an koan. There's a pros and cons. Invest ka, there's an opportunity cost. You forgot the consuming of the 10 ya milk tea. Okay? So, dapat kaning 10 ya milk tea, dapat po compensate ni siya. Dili kay by next year, ang imong 1,000, makapalit ragi hapon og napulo ka milk tea. Okay? Kaya kung makapalit ka napulo ka milk tea the next year, same ra, mas may pag spend lang ni mo imong kwarta karon. Okay? So, there's no sense in investing if the goods are similar or the quantity of goods or the quantity of benefits is just similar. Okay, so that's time preferences. So normal ragid na, so as an accounting student, normal ragid na siya nga, na interest. So dili na siya ingon kay dalo ka or kuan ka, negosyante kayo ka, there's a reason why a lot of banks are, are charging interest. And as financial students, you should be mature enough nga if na ay magpautang sa imo, nga mag-charge of interest, you should understand why. Okay? So remember, there is that koan, time preferences for consumption. So sa may effect anak na iya sa iya kung in the future, 1,000 ragya po ng iyang madawat. Okay? Ganun si pagani siya kaya there is an inflation. So masig, instead nga napulo ka milk tea, mga noibin na lang ka milk tea ang mapalit sa iyang 1,000 in the future. Okay, so see, there's a concept of always include opportunity cost in your decision making. Okay, so same thing with finance. Right? Who else would like to ask questions? Nganong direct transfer wala intermediate. Okay, so me Trina as Nganong direct transfer, wala intermediary. So, ang intermediary, mo come up na ng intermediary. So, from the word itself, actually, ang intermediary is another term for a bridge or a, co a connector from one person to another. So, that is why there is no koan. Um, sa mga direct transfers, there is no intermediary. Kaya sila naman so ang nag-meet. So, there's no need for a bank. There's no need for a person, a middle person niya no transact. Okay, so kanang sa koan, kanang gay na sa Turko, kanang mga 5-6, it's actually a direct transfer. Paluwagan is direct transfer. Okay, okay. Kada pong mangutang imong classmates, imong amigo, that's an example of direct transfer. Okay, so walay nag-bridge between sa inyong doha. Okay, kung naan mag-bridge, and that, that bridge is called intermediary. Okay.
Napa by questions. Okay, so did I answer your question, Miss Trina? Trina Lewis. Okay. Okay, so Marag, I think wala na yung mag, napa ba yung mag question? Wala yung clarifications? Okay, so next, uh, next Tuesday, we will meet again. So, ang akong i-discuss next meeting would be the last coverage for prelims. Okay, so announced lang nako ahead of time. So, coverage nato is from the overview to this topic, financial institutions and markets. And then lastly, you are the money and capital markets. Right. So if there are no more questions, then okay, let's call it a day. So see you next uh, next Tuesday. So good night. Ah, good night. Marag patulog na. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, keep safe, everyone. Okay. So see you. I will let, let I will let you inform pag okay na nga ma-access ang video. Okay, thank you everyone and good evening.